Hello and welcome to God in the Family, a series where I, Gershley Karen Pierre, speak about biblical concepts and tie that into our population, our families, our communities, and of course, our God, so that we can help make better sense of our place in this world and what I perceive would be God's ideal society for us. Today's scripture is Isaiah chapter 64, verse 6, which states, But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. And I'm going to specifically center this dialogue on the section that says, And all our righteousness are as filthy rags. There are versions of the scriptures that instead of saying righteousness, say righteous deeds. I've often worded it and even heard it stated as good works. But ultimately, any form of self-righteousness, that's what this scripture speaks about. Now, as a disclaimer, this scripture is not saying that good works are bad. It's saying that there is a distinction between good works. So that there are good works from God, which we're supposed to fulfill. And then there are our understanding of good works. And I say this because the same passage, if you go into verse 5 in the Berean Standard Bible, it says, you welcome those who gladly do right, who remember your ways. So God is not against good works per se, but it's whose idea bases those works versus our interpretation of good. The scriptures state that there is no one good, not one. And it says that we all fall short of God's glory that all our hearts are collectively evil. The Bible even says that we're evil, but even we can give good gifts every now and then. But that still doesn't compare to God's goodness. So when we define goodness, it's going to be from a different center of influence as compared to how God defines goodness. So those are why our good works, our righteousness, our righteous deeds are as filthy rags because it's coming from a place of what we interpret, think, feel, or recognize as good. And then if we're innately so evil, then what would be the basis of good? What are we basing good off of? Like the scriptures state, we look at the outward appearance. And so this carries on even in the spiritual sense that we can clean the outside of a cup, but not deal with the inside. The Pharisees, for example, they were people who were so concerned with how they appeared. They even wanted the world to know they were fasting so that they could be deemed righteous based on how they looked. So with God, it's not based on what things appear or look like to others or how society would word it, but how does God measure our good works? examples of good works that I've seen that sound good or they kind of have a goodness to themselves. Semen retention. Men are trying to save their semen. They feel if they do this, it will make them better human beings. Some people base their goodness off of how long they can be abstinent. And these are all things that have a form of godliness but because the center of inspiration and influence is the person themselves, often devoid from God directly, it's as filthy rags because it has nothing to do with your soul. God doesn't say we should not do good works because in different scriptures of the Bible, God commands us to do good works. But our good works are not supposed to be based on how, for example, things that we do to look good or to appear good. Rather, what is God doing within us? It is appointed for a person to die once after that face judgment, according to scriptures. 
Is God going to tell the person, did you preserve as much semen as possible? Or is God going to look at whether or not Jesus is in our lives? So Jesus is the only one who's perfect. Then we should apply to his standard. And at this point, it's not because we want to look good or because we want to seem good, but because it is good. There's a difference between doing something because of it, how it feels and doing it because God commanded you to do it. And yes, you will receive within your soul. The Bible says that God wants us to prosper as our soul prospers, so our souls will prosper by doing God's work. Not just our bodies, not just how people see us, but our souls. So in summary, good works are not sinful. Good works are not spoken against. It's just who's centering those works that makes the biggest difference. In a former episode of God in the Family, I stated that I wouldn't mind recommending godly music to the audience. So if you haven't heard the song Yeshua by Jesus Image, it's a beautiful song. The first time I heard it, I immediately wanted to know who sang it because I was tearing up. I couldn't control that. And so thank you so much for listening to today's episode of God in the Family and stay tuned for more.